Welcome to Sketchy. We take all the super complex stuff you need to learn and turn them into memorable visual stories packed full of everything you need to know on test day. Click the link in the corner or description to try for free for seven days. Now let's get to it. Welcome back. Let's continue our discussion of the fungi by moving on to Aspergillus fumigatus. The word Aspergillus is way too similar to the word asparagus, so we went with making a picture about an asparagus farm. Also, fumigatus sounds like fumigate, and you'll see our scene is specifically dealing with a crop duster flying over and spreading its fumes over the asparagus farm. Okay, now that we've set our scene on the asparagus farm, let's start by talking about general characteristics of this fungus. One thing that some students forget about aspergillus is that it is actually catalase positive, a concept that one might more readily attribute to bacteria. However, there is one other fungus that is catalase positive, and if you were watching the videos in order, you should remember that Candida is as well. And what's our symbol for catalase? That's right, a cat. So let's draw in this cat that's standing on top of the scarecrow. And don't worry, I'll get to the scarecrow later. Moving on to illustrate some of the other characteristics, we're going to draw this peanut plant up in the front here. Asparagus and peanuts on the same farmland? Well, I majored in agriculture, and don't worry, it's definitely doable. Now we chose peanuts because peanuts are associated with aflatoxins, which is a toxin produced by Aspergillus flavus. Notice I didn't say fumigatus. These aflatoxins are also associated with grain crops as well, which is why we have a wheat field drawn in the back here behind the scarecrow. So why is this toxin important to remember? Well, aflatoxins are extremely carcinogenic, especially for the development of hepatocellular carcinoma. So to help you remember this, We've drawn this cow grazing in the grain crop with this spot in the shape of a liver to remind you of hepatocellular carcinoma. 